living in such dark times, even at daytime. I know the sun's shining, but it's really dark out. These are mid, it's extremely dark in these age. This age is dark. And nobody knows the truth, but that's not the point. The point is I pray for healing for my nephew who is going through spiritual warfare. He demands suffers all the time with mental disorders. If you find the truth, then he gets rid of it, then he finds it. The devil is working on him hardcore. And he, because he's close to me and I want God in my, his life, but he won't find him as of yet. And I pray for everybody in this nation that is struggling with the truth. And I pray for you, of course, because you're a gentleman and a man of God. And I pray for everyone to come to know the knowledge of God. Read your Bible, please. Read your Bible. Don't listen to false teachers. They're being exposed left, right, and center all the way around us. God is in control. He always has been and always will be. God bless the Lord Jesus Christ, his resurrection, and his, his justification and coming back soon. We're at the, the, the priest is at the door. So God love you. Amen. May God continue to bless. And you're a man at what age? I'm 48, God, or um, Pastor Vogel. So you're still fairly young, but you're yeah, going to... Like, you know, man, sometimes, cause I, I've been all around. The devil has beat me down to the ground. He has beat me down, and I am not giving up. God, continue to bring this one further. Serving thee, bless their God, because you're within us when we're born again. And so you're not a long ways away. So thank you for being within us. Minister yeah, to us and God give us a testimony of how that things are getting better. Yes, as we're yes, looking sir. to the yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. minister Amen. to all of us in Jesus name, grant it, Lord, we we'll thank you now. God bless you. And uh, taking uh, our next call at this moment. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. It is a good morning. Keep on. Um, I'm asking for a couple of prayers. Um, I'm asking prayer for the Lord to intervene um, with um, some people that I know that have been in their home and they have no heat at all. And um, asking God to intervene with that situation and, and um, just asking the Lord to make a way, some kind of way, for them to get heat in their home. And I'm asking the other um, prayer request is asking prayer for um, another um, lady um, that's in the hospital. And they went up on her rent and um, asking God to intervene on that situation as well for God to give her favor. I'm going to ask God to bless all that you're praying about. Dear God, be with this daughter of yours and God, all that she's praying about. Let every bit of it be brought on and blessed of thee. Minister in this moment now, and we shall rejoice. Bring us further than where we are. Help us in all of our journey. Minister to all of us. Dear God, we pray. Help us in this journey to get closer to thee, granted God, and we're here to thank you in this moment now. And um, the phone number for the broadcast, 313-838-1035. Thank you for saying that. 
And uh, the phone number is 313-838-1035. Taking a call that is here. God bless. You're on the air. God bless you, Pastor Bogle. This is Sister Sandra calling. Am I on the air at this time, Pastor? You're on the air. You definitely are. And who oh, are I, you? Who are you Sister again? Sandra. Sister Sandra, huh? I haven't called in some time, Pastor. Um, I have um, called on behalf of my, uh, in memory of my brother Joseph and his his son Jeffrey. They, uh, his son was my godson, and my brother was my baby brother. But he, they both died. He just his son Jeff died in um, August, and then my brother just died in December here. They, you they say they bo- they both died? Yeah, my brother died um, just now here, and I'm going through a lot with it. But it was your it was your night program that got him through his darkest nights. They were homeless for almost two years. He was an electrician retired, and he had both had they both had different kind of injuries that took him into um, medical drugs and then street drugs, you know. And they became homeless. They, they lived through a very difficult, painful struggle where no one wanted them around. And I used to, you know, my brother was brought up in the Catholic faith, and I'm born again Christian. I, I, I had a storefront ministry. You got you brought me through. A lot of my difficult times, my first husband took his life, but Vietnam veteran, all kind of things that had been through with me. But the whole thing about it is, right now I'm struggling. My car broke down, and I'm trying to... Oh, after his son died, he was... If I was for motels for him to live in, and then my got tight. But I finally found a place for him to live. But now I've got to take care of getting this stuff out. I've got another day and a half of work to do. My car broke down again, and I think it just kind of died. And and um, I'm, I, I'm just knowing that God has a plan, and, and I'm listening to everything. My brother used to call up and ask me, please hand a call, because he, he called a couple times, and I would fall asleep in the middle of trying to call, because I, I work sometimes in the morning, and I was on the side. Uh, um, I'm, I'm uh, retired. Excuse me. Um, no, but I, I'm, I'm struggling in my own right now. The story from the Bible is that Jesus wept, and we can may endure for the night, but joy should come in the morning. But right now, we're going into a very difficult couple of weeks here. It's going to be snowing, and I don't have my transportation here, and and I'm really pressed for time because his rent is already a month that he died on December the 9th. I found his body, which. I didn't plan it happening. Let's see how he was doing. But his funeral is not going to be until January the 26th. Anyway, that, uh, yeah, I'm going to on my play, Pastor. But I want to thank you for being there on the midnight hour because he would call me night after night and ask me if I was listening to you. Oh, wow, Pastor, so great. Can I listen to what he's saying? But he, my brother bled for two two years, blood, and feeding going from trans. Transfusions, he would almost die, and he'd been in and out of hospitals in Minnesota.